Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here. Welcome to the AI Guide where we're making AI human. What does that mean? Well, it means that we focus on the human impact of AI and what AI will mean for humans this decade and beyond, plus all the related exponential technologies like robotics and sensors. So we care about people here, all of us and click the links below. There's two links. The first link is my book on Amazon, The Beginner's Guide to AI, History of AI, and Current Impact on 10 Different Industries. It's a very quick read, about two hours for the whole book, but gives you a lot of great info. And the second link is free resources to learn much more about AI than we can do in these short videos. So here we go. On Tuesday, I posted a short about how much is AI worth now, and we're going to expand on that a little bit because the two articles that came out since I recorded that video and posted it that directly relate to it. So, you know, when investors are considering making an investment in a company, they do it based on the perceived value of a company. Now, for new companies, when they need venture capital, that perceived value is everything there is, right? Because the business is more or less a startup or a younger company and has very little actual history to go by to make the investment decision on. So you're really making it on perception, perception of the idea, perception of the team, very importantly, and their ability to execute what they're telling you they want to do. And then you get to private equity, which is more mature companies, and there is a value there because there's revenue, there's cash flow, uh, there's earnings and so forth to make a decision on. But check this out. Two quick things. Uh, AI translator Deeples reportedly more than 100 million raise values it at 1 billion euros. So we talked in that short about another company that raised money at a 630 million valuation or something like that. So the, the valuation of these young AI companies is extremely high. Why? Because investors know intuitively and from looking at what these people are working on, what we talk about here all the time, huge impact on all of us and on society and everything that is done in manufacturing, retail, even service, huge impact. Uh, and then a bigger story and even more important, recently Microsoft fired the largest volley in generative AI wars when it announced a partnership with OpenAI and invested $10 billion into OpenAI, valuing it at $30 billion. Now, OpenAI is different than a pure startup, right? This is a group that has put out repeated things that are groundbreaking, the most recent being ChatGPT. So OpenAI is a more mature company than Deeple that we just talked about a few minutes ago. And correspondingly, the investment amount is much bigger and the valuation is much bigger. 30 billion is a, a major company. That puts, that puts OpenAI's valuation easily in the Fortune 500 or 500 largest companies here in the United States by valuation. Um, the deal, unprecedented for the generative AI space, catapulted the company's value. News broke Friday that two other generative AI startups are seeking hundreds of millions of dollars at unicorn valuations. Character aims to raise 250 million, easily putting it past a value of 1 billion. The startup was formed by two former Google researchers and is similar to OpenAI's ChatGPT chatbot. 
in that it allows users to have conversations with an AI that can assume different characters, including famous fictional personalities like Tony Stark and Walter White. Character reportedly raised a seed round at a private valuation and has received backing from Gmail creator Paul Buchheit and former GitHub CEO Nat Friedman. So this character company, heavy duty people involved with it, already very, very successful people with prior startups now investing in this huge validation for character and their chat GPT equivalent. Similarly, Anthropic, an AI startup founded by former OpenAI employees who obviously know what they're doing, right, uh, is working on a 300 million round that would value the company at 5 billion. Anthropic has been backed previously by disgraced crypto mogul Sam Bankman Freed, the king of money laundering, it appears. <laughs> Other generative AI startups were cashing in on the hype before the OpenAI deal a few weeks ago. Jasper, an AI content creation platform, raised $125 million in November, bringing valuation to $1.5 billion. And then Stability AI, who we previously talked about, the creators of AI-generated image software, Stable Diffusion, which is extremely well known. Um, raised 101 million in October. And then they mentioned Deepl that I just mentioned. So what does all this mean for AI and what does it mean for us as human beings? Well, for AI, it means that sophisticated people understand the massive impact that AI is going to have on our world. That's number one. Number two, people who are already very, very successful are investing huge sums of money now in this space. And number three, we can assume from the massive amount of money pouring into this space that it is going to further accelerate the development of AI. What does that mean? That means AI is already an exponential technology, but the curve can be steepened. And this is what these investments will do. Not all of these companies will make it. Uh, they never do. But a handful will. And if they're like OpenAI, which clearly seems that it is going to make it and become a major force in the world, this is going to, as I said, ex make the exponential curve steeper and make AI have a much, much more dramatic effect on the world and on us and on work than we've even been talking about. So stay tuned for more on this, but values of AI companies are now going through the roof multiple times. Thanks so much for tuning in. Click those links below, get my book and get the free resources. And we'll see you next time. Take care. See you later this week. Bye.